Hey everybody, welcome to Wide Family Farm. I'm down here in the basement at our grow station and I'm gonna work on making a homemade hydroponics uh, grow system for the first time. Uh, try to just save a little bit of money and use things I already have. I have some of these buckets that I bought uh, two seasons ago for growing peppers in. This one's uh, one I have a lid and I didn't drill any holes in this one. It's a whole bucket. So we have a lid there. I've got a just a pot that Courtney bought some flowers in or something doesn't say well, just says it's an annual but either way I'm going to turn this into a basket for my hydroponics I'm going to transplant one of my blue suede shoes tomatoes into this and grow it downstairs under the good lights and uh, see if I can't get this thing to fruit in the basement completely isolated from other tomato plants and we will have pure seeds that we can trade uh, or share with you guys. Just a few tools, I'm gonna, I have a hole saw here that is just a little smaller than this so that this ridge will sit on that. I'm gonna eyeball center here on the bucket, which is nice because there's a like an injection mold spot dead center, so use that to start it. There's a hole in the bucket. I can't buy no beer. If you get that joke, you know what I'm talking about. And that will sit right in that bucket, just like that. All right, here's my pot. I'm going, I have a uh, step bit that I'm just gonna put some more holes in this. Just be careful you don't break it because this is, much more brittle than the bucket. Oh, my bit came loose. You don't want these holes to be uh, too big because I'll show you later the uh, clay uh, pebbles that have to go in here. You don't want them to fall through. And there I just added some more drainage in the bottom. What it'll eventually the roots from the tomato plant will stick right out through these. clean up all these burr all the uh you know the plastic that's come off and we will show you the next step this is a uh, blue suede shoes tomato that i've had going in the arrow garden that this is all the root growth i pulled out of that thing look at that it's pretty amazing to see it um i'm going to gently massage the roots out of this uh pot and we were going to see what we can do with this thing. All right, just a little bit of manipulating. I was able to get the roots for the most part out of there. Look how long that is. That's crazy, isn't it? Pretty cool. So we're going to now put this into our new pot and um, 
we will show you how that goes. All right, and these are some that are smaller, some that are bigger. These are the clay pebbles that we're going to use with the hydroponics. I'll show you how that goes. I'm going to go ahead and try to feed some of these roots down through the uh, holes just so that they're already through. But they will, I could probably could have, I could probably trim these and they will it'll grow new roots, but we're just going to feed some of these through. See how this goes. I've never grown anything this on this scale hydroponically. It's always just been small like crap key, things like that in the arrow garden, which is kind of dummy proof. The rest of them I will leave in there. And what I'm going to do is pinch off that sucker. And then I'm going to just gently place these pellets around there. And I'm still learning here. This is just me watching some videos and being like, I want to try that. And I really like this variety of tomato. And I can't wait to share seeds with the world. This, the seeds originally came from Ukraine. So who knows when uh, there'll be seeds coming back out of there because of obvious reasons. So far, the only thing I've had to uh, purchase that cost me, these buckets were a dollar a piece. Uh, this pot came with a flower that Courtney wanted anyway. Um, or it might be a pot that someone gave us because people we know that buy plants will save uh, their pots for us because they know that we will reuse them. And we appreciate that greatly because we can uh, sanitize them and reuse them over and over instead of them ending up in the landfill, which is always what we want. Reuse things as much as possible. Repurpose, just like this, just a pot. Now it's a, a pot for hydroponics. You can kind of see what I'm doing there. I'm hoping that this will grow more. I, I kind of put it in there deep so that hopefully it'll get some more roots, just like when you plant them in the ground, how you get more roots out of the stem when you plant it deep, kind of hoping for the same kind of thing. All right, that should be more than enough to hold this bad boy up. If need be later, I will figure out a way to Uh, way to stake this up if I need to or I would just prune it and keep it small depends on how it's doing we'll put this lid back on the bucket I'm going to cover this lid here I'll show you that shortly let me go ahead and stick this in here for now you can see what we got going there The aluminum foil here. The purpose of this is because obviously you can tell no light gets through aluminum foil. So if I cover this lid, if I cover this lid with aluminum foil, there's no light from uh, above from the uh, LED lights, the grow lights, getting into this getting through this so we'll do that try to cut a 
some wool here. Some really dull scissors. It doesn't have to be perfect like anything I do I just make it work if it isn't perfect it isn't perfect there's a little rip in it I'm not worried about it because the foil actually wraps all the way under the lid we put that back on there like so I still need to pick up uh, a few things that I need for this uh, aerator like a fish tank aerator that you hook an air pump to I have an air pump that I got a really good deal on that I can run multiple buckets off of so I need to buy some hosing and some valves to uh, and like fittings to where I can split that off and do like four or five buckets maybe that's what I'm hoping I have a grow tent uh, that I'm gonna have pretty soon I have to pick up for my dad's and we will be able to set that up with the hydroponics in there and see what we can grow it ought to be an interesting adventure it's the first time of me really trying this but uh, there's my lid. No light can get through that. I have some uh, pre-mixed. This is hydroponic uh, solution that I've mixed with water. You, a little bit goes a long way with that stuff. Like I bought a gallon, and that's probably going to last me uh, years for what I'm doing because I'm not constantly uh, growing things. At least at this point. We'll see once I get the grow tent if, if I like this. And I'd also like to be able to find some recipes. I've seen a few online um, that I can make myself for like an organic um, solution for my hydroponics, but I'm gonna keep researching that and do the best I can. And uh, I'll keep you guys updated with this and further on in this video, uh, when I add the airline and the aerator and all that stuff and set up the light and the timer and all that. Yeah, here we are a couple days later. Got my air pump hooked up. I got my aquarium uh, bubbler down in there. And we are bubbling away. And I'm gonna put her back together. I got a noisy helper here with me today. Thanks for joining me here today on Wide Family Farm with my noisy, messy haired helper as we finish up this uh, hydroponics uh, experiment and see how it goes uh, thanks everybody i'll keep you updated on the progress and thanks for joining us